Hi there guys, Sam here. You join me in front of a Mark 8.5 Golf GTI facelift. Oh, brand spanking new. This car is from a subscriber of mine who's come down. I'm going to share it. It's one of the first, well, this is the first I've actually seen. Um, this is in Grenadilla black, the metallic black, but it's essentially, other than that, a completely base spec new Golf GTI facelift. I can't believe that I've actually got the opportunity. And I'm so grateful to my subscribers to kind of show it. So look, we'll go for a walk around, we'll go for a drive. I'll tell you all my first impressions of the car. That's kind of the idea. Um, I love these kind of cars. And yeah, see what Volkswagen have got in store with this new GTI, particularly as I've driven sort of like the R-Line recently. Um, I've driven quite a few, well, a lot of Golf platforms. I own a Mark 7 Golf R myself. Um, should we go for a little look around this car? Because I think you'll be, yeah, pleasantly surprised so a lot of the new features and yeah apologies if there's any issues with the light but we'll go through a full walk around of the car anyway um the owner has actually just got back from mexico so if the car's a little bit dirty that's why and we've had some strange weather in the uk recently i'm filming this towards the end of august um but yeah the grenadilla black paintwork looks really really special actually um i'll try and get a good sort of picture of it um, the car you get sort of as part of the facelift now, the first thing I noticed was you get this GTI sort of badge sort of on the door that's moved away from the front quarter panel. Um, it, it, it's quite imposing. I mean, you definitely know it's a GTI from it. It's got the 18 inch standard wheels as well. These are a diamond cut finish as well and comes on Bridgestone Potenza tires. Nice um, disc brake size as well. So plenty of stopping power. Um, sort of around the side, it's sort of like, it's, it's not gloss black, but it's not like scratchy plastic. It feels quite good. Obviously this is just me sort of like looking at it as a first time as well. You get the new sort of like light sort of design as well at the front. That's the one way that you can kind of distinguish it. Essentially it's like a slightly thinner than the one before. Um, the honeycomb effect is part of the GTI. Um, the ma another main part of this one is it's the uprated power. So this has 265 PS now, so 20 um, PS enhanced essentially, which is pretty cool over the previous Mark 8, GT um, Mark 8 GTI. GTI badge shown there, red bar across as well, 24 plate car. Um, you've got the radar stuff as well. I actually really love the front design looking at it. A bit plasticky around the, sort of some bits of the front, um, but other than that, oh, it looks really, really nice. And I like that. That looks cool. I'm sort of learning, literally, you're seeing this as I'm seeing this for the first time. I have not had an opportunity to have any sort of, I, and I haven't even seen any reviews of these Golf GTIs either. I'm just sort of coming at this as a fresh. And I like the brake, red brake calipers. I love the wheels. Get a better look sort of like in the side of the sun as well around here. Very sort of VW-esque. You know it's a Golf and that's what's great. Slightly tinted in the rear windows as well. Um, obviously front wheel drive, that's where all your power's kind of coming from as well. You get the new infotainment as well, which we can kind of check out too. Um, I'm looking forward to driving this car just to see exactly what it's like. Um, but you get sort of like at the back as well, you get the new sort of like, it's like sort of like um, oh, smoked out lights really at the rear with that new sort of design, the IQ light design. Looks really, really nice. GTI badge is really quite big and pronounced. You know it's a GTI from behind. Twin exhaust pipes. So you've actually got real exhaust pipes. They go to the engine and it does sound quite nice. Um, I'm obviously hearing it coming. And actually I'm just checking it now. That looks really cool. It's like a real indent for like the rear diffuser. I mean, it's not gonna do too much. Although it's got a little hole there. Don't know what that does. Maybe it gives it a little bit more uh, <laughs> aero drag or anything like that. Um, yeah, the chrome pipes. The sun is coming out for us, which is great <laughs> with the GTI. Um, I definitely like the colour. I think um, try and go for a metallic paint if you can. They just make such a difference. You know, I spent time with a King's Red Metallic R line and the colour was kind of everything. This looks really, really special. Um, yeah. And this actually keeps it below the luxury car tax as well. So this car starts currently, as I'm filming this, about around 38,000 pounds around that mark. And with the paint, you're gonna keep it below that 40,000 pound threshold, which is quite important because it does make a big difference as you kind of add up. Going inside the car, yeah, here we go. So we've got the GTI seats. Just been sitting this a little bit, chatting to the owner about the car. This car is on 160 miles. <laughs> it's basically brand new. Um, and just feeling it now, these are the standard seats. Really nice Alcantara actually on the side. 
quite high premium, you get the classic GTI sort of stripes, but maybe a little bit more subtle than it's been before, but really nice inserts, really nice seats, really, really nice. I can't really get over that. Um, you get sort of like the red sort of stitching around the GTI. It says DSG only. There's no manual now available in the Mark 8.5. Um, usual bits going through there. We've already had a chat a little bit with the GTI patch there with the red sort of stitching. You get buttons shown here, as you can see. Um, and sort of like, it's like a blacked out VW badge now. The stalks as well, they're exactly the same as my Mark 7, but they work. These are now exactly the same pretty much as my Mark 7. The buttons work well. A few sort of touch sort of panels there. Um, you get the new infotainment. You can already see all the finger marks. This car is, this car is literally 160 miles old, 24 plate. This owner actually picked it up four weeks ago um, and then went on holiday for a couple of weeks. <laughs> so it ha hasn't had uh, too many miles on it. Um, yeah, and I'm filming this on the 25th of August, 2024. And um, yeah, as standard, you kind of get like, like the heated seats. Obviously you get the DSG, the seven speed. Um, it's been a really nice, and actually sort of like having a poke around the car, they've upped the game. That's what I've kind of noticed with kind of like the quality of the car. Um, gloss black shown there. So the only thing you've got to worry about is fingerprints, really. That's sort of the main side of things. The wheel, it's got like a, you can really hold it really, really well, sort of six, not six and three, nine and uh, three o'clock. So it just sits quite nicely in your hands from there. And actually from like the door panels as well, so we'll just shut it briefly. You get like Alcantara sort of just shown on the side um, and a like nice little effect actually, just nice touch feel. That's kind of the main thing. The infotainment, I've done plenty of videos on this infotainment. We actually turned it off because even when we were sitting here, it was basically trying to talk to us <laughs> as we were saying words and um, just chatting to the owner, um, the, a subscriber of mine. And yeah, subscribe to the channel as well. Um, yeah, if you want to be a part of this kind of community side of things. And yeah, if you did want to actually lend me a car like this owner has as well, just feel free to DM me on Instagram. All my details are sort of in the description. And yeah, subscribe for future con content to come. Um, and he was telling me his daughter sort of just said like, oh, tell me a story. And then like the car will tell you a story essentially like that. And um, actually that's all part of like the IDA's chat GPT kind of section. So there's some cool stuff, but it takes a little bit of time getting used to. That's kind of the main thing. Um, I'm interested to know what it's going to be like on the drive, particularly as this car is a lot more about the drive. I like the stitching. The red stitching looks really, really nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of going through this drive, but just before we do, I'll just show you into the back, just so you've got a full sort of little run round. You get the, the seats as well, they're a little bit, oh, they're nice, nice quality in the back. That feel there, it feels really, really nice. I hope that comes across, really, really nice. And yeah, the seats as well. So when you're sitting in the back, I guess you've got a little bit more, yeah, it's a little bit more blocky, I guess, um, but still quite nice, little tiny patch, pouches. There's you get your, your bigger screen, which is the main sort of part of the facelift change. So if you'd like to watch my full drive video, it's um, the 38 minute video on my channel here. I'll leave a link above for that. That's basically got all the details, including the drive, including the POV, including all the summary. Um, yeah, so if you'd like to watch that, yeah, check that back. Otherwise, yeah, continue for the walk around of the GTI. Right, I've just been driving around in this car for more and you can see from the smile on my face, I love the 8.5 GTI. What a special car. Chatting more to the owner as well. There's there's so much cool stuff about it. You can see it in the background anyway. Talking about the Richmond wheels, these are the ones that are standard, which is interesting because it's the Queenstown wheels, which are essentially sort of like the special for the GTI and for the GTI club sport. So it's quite interesting, you know, should you just go for this? Go for this amazing car over say like a club sport or even an R. The lights look really cool. They do these cool like, like little like, um, sort of back and forth um, sort of waves as part of it. That badge lighting up is really, really great. You can just see a little bit more of the lights sort of shown with there. Um, yeah, and you can see the, the hazards are kind of coming on. The car drove really, really fun. It, as I said, kind of on my film, it felt like a car that you would just want to go out and drive in um, and have a good time. Um, looks good as well. Hopefully the footage is okay. I can only do my best and it's quite windy too. Talking to the owner, there was a few cost cutting sort of measures and that's kind of why the GTI badge has come in here. Apparently it's because the GTE 
has the charging point there, so it saves money for them. That's basically just the idea now of a lot of manufacturers. It is about saving costs. Um, but yeah, this GTI is wonderful, and the 8.5 is wonderful, and I'm happy to kind of share it and to drive it. And it, it felt like, yeah, something I can 100% recommend for my, yeah, to my audience as well. And as it kind of keeps unlocking itself and locking itself, um, let's just quickly go inside for like the last time. Inside, yeah, the seats are really good quality, really comfortable. That sort of historic nature with sort of like the, the um, tartan seats looks really, really good. The quality of just everything, you know, these are the, essentially some of the exact same pedals that you get in sort of like the Mark 7. So it's all tried and tested stuff in this sort of car. And the infotainment, there's a lot to kind of do in there. And to be honest, for me, there's a lot of stuff that I would probably be turning off and that might become quite irritating. I'm sure there's plenty of shortcuts that you can kind of play around with on that um, once you kind of get up to speed with. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed my first impressions of this car. Big thank you to the subscriber for giving me this opportunity to share the car and I wish you all well and get involved in the comments. Let me know, yeah, what you have to say and I'll help you out from there. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and yeah, subscribe, plenty more content to come.